No world champion is ever going to fluke their way through 10 plus title defenses while maintaining an undefeated record without a high level of boxing skill. So it goes without saying that Chaya Fon Munsri, aka Wang Yang Manayathin, Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? has amassed a 53 and 0 record as the current reigning WBC minimum weight champion with over 10 defenses of his title. I know, I know, minimum weight is a real weight class. Just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it's not legit. So before you click off this video, let's get into the real meat and semen of this video, which is why Moonsri is actually a special fighter. While watching film of Moonsri, the biggest thing that stuck out to me was his impregnable defense. Seriously, this guy almost never gets hit. Now if you're between the ages of 8 and 12 and just like seeing knockouts, I encourage you to open your mind for a second and hear me out. You might learn something. At the lowest weight classes, it becomes easier to shell up behind the gloves and catch your opponent's shots. Moonstreet covers up better than almost anyone else and has matrix-like reflexes to anticipate his opponent's next punch and adjust his defense accordingly. <laughs> So let's take a look at this sequence. We're going to see that Moonstreet is going to reach out with his lead hand to measure the range. He confirms the range and watch this. He's going to shoot his right hand right down the pipe and catch him. He catches his opponent. He's going to once again shoot the right hand, but this time he misses. And notice how he covers up right away, blocks those three shots, blocks four shot, and watch him pivot out to his outside, rolls under the left hook. Beautiful defense. A very basic concept in boxing is that you are open whenever you throw a punch. It's usually a better option to use your feet and exit the pocket when you miss a punch, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't bring your guard up right after you punch. So Moonstri is able to catch each counter shot in this situation because he instinctively raises his guard right away. And the last thing I want to add about this sequence is that Moonstri never takes his eye off of his opponent. Even though he's shelled up, he's always looking at the next shot so he's able to catch it. And that's why you see him defend each shot like this. So keeping your hands up and slipping punches doesn't automatically mean your defense is amazing. What Moonstri does to keep his opponent guessing when to punch is constant weight shifting between the front and back plane. This baits his opponents to throw a punch that he can then counter. Now I'm only going to briefly explain Moonstri's weight shifting, so if you want a much better explanation of weight shifting in boxing with multiple examples, go check out Wilson Caden's Boxing Fundamentals video. Unfortunately he doesn't upload anymore, but between you and me, this shit slaps hard. Where? Where? You're not allowed to talk about weight shifting. Only other YouTubers are allowed to talk about weight shifting. Shut up. Anyways, the gist of the concept is that there are three planes you could lean towards or shift your weight towards. You could lean towards your front foot, you could lean onto your back foot, or you can have your weight evenly distributed on both feet. So how do you use this to bait out punches? Moonstri starts leaning on his back foot to make it look like he is out of punching range when he really is. We see him shift his weight to his front foot and snap his opponent's head back with a straight right. Moonstri is already in range. He tricked his opponent into thinking he was out of range by initially leaning back. Moonstri then shifts his weight back to his rear leg, giving him distance and time to see the counter shot which he slips. Then we see him counter the punch he slipped by once again transitioning his weight to his front foot. Even more impressive is that he does this while getting his head off the center line so he doesn't get caught while he's throwing. And yet again, Moonstri shifts his weight back to his rear leg so that he could slip the counter punch and he's ready to come back with yet another counter. Much like Floyd Mayweather, Moonstri likes to use the Philly shell defense when fighting on the inside. His left arm is low to block body shots and also pin his opponent's arm down. His lead shoulder is used to protect his chin and his right arm protects his right side. The right hand is also the main attacking tool from here. <laughs> He 
Here on the inside, we see Moonsri use his left arm to pin his opponent's right hand and use his right hand to pin his opponent's left arm, leaving the body shot wide open. So we see him shoot the right hand to the exposed body and then follow up with a right hook up to the head so he goes from body to head. Just for comparison, we see almost the same exact thing from Floyd Mayweather. As is controlling with his lead hand, we see the right hand to the body and then the right hand to the head. Chayafan Moonsri defends his WBC minimum weight title at some point today against some Piwi Konko in Thailand. Here's to hoping his historic win streak doesn't end today and make me look stupid for covering him. You can catch the fight by tuning in to Channel 7. Anyways, as always, thank you all for watching, and if you've made it this far in the video, I also want to say thank you everybody for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. I'm not going to waste your time by getting all sappy, so I'm just going to say to my supporters, thank you all for the support, and to my haters, thank you all for the hate. Keep doing what you're doing. It helps me more than you think, and I'm not going anywhere. I'll see you all real soon. Longer than nine months, but fuck it, it's all in due time I turn the blood to a rope who dreams of being a beagle Don't want to, I need to, you gotta learn to keep us awake But when you come up in a place where everyone got a peaceful, but ain't peaceful This is just part one way to the sea